It seems like everyone and their dog are diving into the world of microphones, but I feel like we've seen them all. But companies do surprise me, and this time it's creative. They're generally known for their amazing audio products, from PC speakers to Bluetooth or wireless speakers and everything really in between. But they're giving USB microphones a go with their newly released LiveMic M3, a small form factor USB condenser microphone. The LiveMic MC is one of the smaller mics we've had the chance to test. The body does only measure at just under 13 centimeters tall and five centimeters wide. The pedestal only really adds an extra seven centimeters or so, which is absolutely incredible. It's colored in all black with a couple of silver accents for the creative logo and the graphics for the buttons. There's a status LED that shows if the microphone is muted or not too, which is very, very bright. The microphone is very light, which shouldn't give any issues to smaller sized boom arms. And although the majority is made from plastic, it does feel very tough and will survive a knock or two. The grill is all metal as well and it didn't collapse when I did give it a squeeze. The front IO does consist of a volume knob and a mute button, while around the back is a knob for changing polar patterns, which there is a front facing cardioid polar pattern and an omnidirectional pattern as well. For most of my testing, I kept it set to forward facing as I was going to be using this for streaming, but if you're in an interview kind of situation, it is more than capable of picking up audio from guests sitting around a table. On the bottom, you can find a micro USB input, which is bizarre, for a new product like this. Why they didn't go USB-C is anyone's guess, and a there is a headphone jack as well for monitoring your side tone, which actually does quite a nice job of giving you enough volume to monitor your audio while gaming. Now, it won't help you with mixing your audio, but it will give you an idea whether your voice is peaking or not. The desk stand is a chunk of weight with a ball head attached to it. It's a very simple setup, it just literally screws into the bottom, and the, the added weight means that if the microphone is knocked around, then you've got to give it some some force to actually tip it over. The ball head aids in aiming the microphone closer to your subjects and the microphone can bend down to a 45 degree angle to the stand. So you have to speak into the front of this microphone to work if you have got it on the forward facing polar pattern as that's where the microphone is facing. It consists of a dual 40 millimeter condenser capsules for its omnidirectional pattern and it did a really good job of picking up my voice when it was placed in front of my keyboard while playing games and just check out this example. So this is just a demonstration of what the Creative Live Mic M3 is going to sound like when I'm actually playing a game, playing through OBS. Just so, you, just to let you know, if you can't see on the screen, you probably can see on the screen actually. I've got the microphone on the desk in front of me. The current pickup pattern is just the standard uh, directional pickup pattern, as I, as I said before. The microphone is bi-directional, so I have got an omnidirectional pattern to choose from as well. But I haven't got that switched on because I wanted to eliminate as much clicking uh, and background noise from my PC fans as possible. Just to give you a demonstration as well, I know I'm holding it and you're going to get that noise from handling the microphone while in use. The po included pop, pop filter is on there as well, which does a very nice job of eliminating any popping sounds. Um, but it's just to give you an idea of the proximity effect of this microphone when I hold it closer to my mouth and it's going to sound like this it could sound like this if you've got it on some kind of boom arm to raise it off of the desk also with the microphone just to let you know there is the volume dial on the front as we've gone through already I've got that set pretty much to 100% and there is a, a decent actually uh side tone on there so i can monitor what my voice sounds like in in my mind in my mind i can hear my voice in my mind i can hear my voice in my headphones for the most part it's okay it will give you an idea on if you're um if you're peaking or your voice is distorting or the game's to set too high on your window settings that's an example of what the creative live mic m3 sounds like when you're using it while playing games. Now vocal quality is pretty decent. It's not a real viable option if you're wanting that kind of podcast deep bass kind of tone to your voice that you get with a Shure SM7B or my Rode Procaster for example. But if you're wanting to level up your Zoom and Teams calls, this is way above the quality that you're going to get from a webcam or built-in microphone from a laptop. It offers a very nice clarity and when it's set to its cardioid pattern it does a great job of reducing background noise from things like key clicks on a keyboard or PC fans 
buzzing on a desk. Now, one thing I would say though, is that the microphone isn't the most sensitive in the world. And if you're able to do so, some post-processing effects or even some real-time effects to boost the gain somewhat might work in your favor. This of course comes down to the type of speaking voice that you have. If you have a very soft voice, you could use this method, but if you're like me who has a bit of a boom to their voice, uh, it wasn't really needed, especially when I was playing games. So the other thing that you could do is physically move the microphone towards your mouth. Now it does come with an included pop shield on there to protect you from those plosives uh, and the proximity effect of this microphone is actually pretty good. But do remember this is a condenser microphone. So the closer this microphone is to your mouth, the lower that the gain will have to be set to just to protect you from peaking and distorting your own vocal audio. For £80, the Creative Live Mic M3 is an absolute steal. And if you're stuck working from home and find yourself on daily Zoom calls with your colleagues, then this microphone will impress those listening to you. If you're also thinking about getting into streaming on Twitch or YouTube, it's a good starter microphone for sure to get you used to speaking on camera and not really having to break the bank to get a decent quality. It's built very nice and the plug and play factor really impressed me as well. So you're not faffing around with drivers or software, unless of course you apply some real time effects on something like OBS. But if not, you are good to go with this microphone. So thank you very much for checking out my review of the Creative Live Mic M3. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos, and also let us know in the comments down below what you think about the audio quality produced from the Live Mic M3, if this is something that you would go for for your game streams, or even if it's something you would go for to talk to your colleagues over a Teams or Zoom. Let us know in the comments below. As I say, thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.